So hey guys and welcome back to the channel. So as you guys know that the new update is here, and in today's video I will be showing you guys the top 5 best heroes in Farlight 84 after the new update. So it's my personal ranking and many of you will disagree with it. So you can also share your ranking in the comments below. So without further talks let's start the video. Number 5. Coming at number 5 we have Maggie. Maggie is nearly everyone's favorite, and she is the only hero to have fully jetpack abilities. She is a very versatile hero and is very decent for solo versus squad. She is the main of many pro players like Fadu and Kai. Her tactical skills are horizontal and vertical boost, and her ultimate speed up her and her jetpack abilities, thus making the cooldown time of jetpacks lower. But her ultimate takes a lot of time due to which it becomes difficult for players to fight or win against multiple enemies, thus making it difficult for the new players to use it correctly. Now many Maggie fans will disagree that why I put it at 5th place, but there are other heroes that are better than her and moving. On towards the next hero. Number 4. At number 4 we have Ember. After this new update Ember's skills were revamped, making him reach the top 5 list of best heroes. His tactical skills Disturb and Survival both are very effective. Since the new update, I have faced many players using Ember, thus making it clear that many players are loving him. His ultimate Disturb is very useful while facing multiple enemies, making it easy for you guys to kill them. Ember new tactical do not cause poison damage after this new update, and only Ember can see through those bombs. Number 3. At number 3 we have Phantom. Phantom has always been a standout hero in Fallout 84. In this new update, we've made some adjustments to her skills. Her first tactical skill, Portable Scout, allows her to throw a scanning device towards a target location, obtaining the enemy position. Her passive skill has now returned, granting increased damage when scoring headshots with a sniper. Additionally, she now has a brand new tactical skill, Phantom Crash. This skill allows her to put a trap earring that pops up and activates when the enemy come close, dealing increasing damage over time with its radius. It's worth mentioning that our signature old optical camel has undergone some balancing adjustments. When groups go invisible and coordinate with teammates, it creates situations that are difficult to counter. So in this update, after casting her old, Phantom will only turn herself invisible, while providing a speed boost to teammates. But be cautious, getting too close to enemies weakens the effect. While in stealth mode, weapons will be holstered and any attack action will stop the stealth mode immediately. Phantom is ready to dive into the chaos of this update. My device, always watch your back. There will be a new skill introduction video for Phantom. Don't miss out. Number 2 Coming at number 2 we have none other than Machel. Machel is one of the best hero of Farlight 84 making her place at the second rank. Michelle has also gained a new tactical skill, Sonic Tracking. Michelle releases a scan in a fan-shaped area ahead. If enemies are detected, Michelle's cute little rabbits will appear. These rabbits are in the same numbers as the enemies and will dash towards them, slowing them down and revealing their position. Number 1 Coming at number 1 as the best hero in Farlight 84 is Lucinda. Lucinda has become the most aggressive and deadliest hero of Farlight 84 after this new update, thus making her the best hero of Farlight. First tactical skill, Portable Incendiary Bomb, can be stored twice by default now, and provides healing effects through leveling up. Lucinda will benefit from the healing as long as she's within the range. This means she can adopt more risky strategies in combat now. But note that this effect won't apply when she's taking damage. In this update, Lucinda is also getting a new tactical skill called Stellar Serenade. Upon activation, she leaps into the air. If she casts other skills during this time, she briefly hovers as the gravitational field around her shifts. Once these skills are cast, gravity will return to normal and Lucinda descends as usual. Using this skill, Lucinda can quickly ascend to high platforms or buildings and better connect with other skills. This place is here. Feel the gravity. Her old absolute Feel gravity will also get some updates. Now only after leveling up does her old deal initial and continuous damage. And its wind up time is also increased. So that players have more time to evade and respond. 
We also boosted the HP of her ult, making it more resilient. However, to maintain balance, the force of gravity is slightly reduced. All in all, you will find that Lucinda has the ability now to leverage and take more risky moves. So that was it from today's video. See you guys in the next one.